I thought I'd just give you a quick electrical overview of the XSR 700 MT07 FC07. This video is aimed at those of you who haven't yet taken the seat off and had a look yourself, so it's just a very quick overview. Once you've removed the seat using the bike's key and you've removed the toolbox and the brace with an Allen key, you can see the electrics underneath. You've got the main bike 12 volt battery there with a positive and negative terminal and the main large red live feed and the main large black neutral feed there. In addition, I've got a couple of extra wires on each terminal for my heated grips and my USB charger. Then to the rear of this section, there's a few fuse boxes. Here you can see the rear fuse box, which is mostly ABS fuses. Handily, they've put in this camera will focus. You can see what the fuses actually do there, along with a few spares. And then next to that, you've got the main fuse box there. Again, with all the fuses labelled inside. Ignitions mostly, headlights and things like that. Also in addition to this underneath this large plastic cover are two bigger green fuses which you can just about see there. As these run in conjunction with the neutral and live feeds I presume these are the main safety fuses for those functions. Uh, the last thing to mention, sorry for the zoom on this camera, it's a terrible camera, I am getting a new one soon. There's this um, there we go. Underneath there's a lead there with a white socket on the end with a black rubber cap and I think this is the onboard diagnostic lead. I'll just show you the end like you would get in all modern cars and bikes these days. There you go. That's that there. So you can connect a diagnostic computer using that port. And round at the front of the bike, on the left hand side, underneath the front panel, we have a large heat sink behind which is probably the voltage regulator rectifier, a few electrical plugs on the bottom. And we have a few relays as well, I think this is a light relay, not sure what the one behind it is, something behind that. Moving round to the left hand side, again with the front panel off there. You can see the large vehicle ECU there with the loom plug behind it. The ABS pump there, which uh, controls all the braking system. And that's pretty much about it. Um, you can look inside, you can see the top of the engine and some more plugs there. Uh, the wiring loom behind the headlight. There's not much inside the headlight. I have that had that apart before. And going back round to the right hand side, you can see looking around the side of the rectifier, all sorts of connectors and plugs in there. This being a modern motorbike, it's fairly complex electronically, but nothing that a bit of work can't figure out. Anyway, hopefully that's been of some use. Thanks for watching and see you next time.